Hi friends, today we are going to see how to submit your plugin to WordPress uh, SVN repository. Once you develop the plugin and submit it to WordPress admin panel, once the WordPress admin guys reviewed your website and you got the mail like this, simple uh, my plugin is simple speech to text uh, once the plugin has been approved you you will get the svn repository link um, you are familiar with svn it's a subversion control tool so open source a lot of clients available a lot of uh, open source client available in svn one of the famous one is Tata SVN. So first uh, we need to download Tata SVN. Go to Tata. My system version OS version is 32 bit so I am going to download 32 bit if your system is 64 bit you can download it 64 bit so my network connection is too slow so it takes some time before that I before that I am going to give small introduction about my plugin simple text to simple speech to text uh, this plugin convert your speech into text without actually typing the content you can add contents to your website just throw a speech um, this plugin currently working on chrome browser only and it microphone also required and yes can convert speech to text voice to text voice to bad hands free typing uh, this is my uh, screenshot once you install the plugin you can check the you can uh, the plugin will be added to the text box below the content area um, it has four options speak now stop clear copy on once first you have to click speak now then it will be automatically typed the words in the text box um, then stop it and copy and paste above the content box um, if you want clear it means you can clear it so this is the feature of my plugin um, I am using bad uh, Google speech recognition uh, in this plugin This. Okay, now the data is SVN is going to be download. Uh, okay, what is the version control? Uh, as a developer, uh, we are maintaining. We need to maintain all the files from scratch to end of the production. So we are going to use the production uh, version control tool like SVN or GTAR. Uh, big packet so but in few years back we are familiar with SVN so I'm going to use SVN uh, the Tata SVN is one of the famous client tool for SVN it has good GUI and non-technical users also use this Tata SVN uh, I will show how to use Tata SVN to upload the your newly created plugin files to WordPress SVN directory.
Yes, my downloader is starting now. I am downloading Tata CSVN Windows 32 bit version. Um, so before we are going to before we are going to upload the files to SVN, we have to know about the guidelines about plugin directory. So I am going to this link will be sent by WordPress. Uh, I am going to just open that link. I am going to install Tortoise SVN yes it's installing now welcome to tortoise the next the next the next then install yes Tata Swings has installed successfully. Um, once installed successfully, uh, I am going to create one folder now. Uh, the folder name should be um, what I have given as a slug in my readme text file. That means when you submit the plugin files to WordPress admin team, so that time you are using the plugin name. Uh, so that I have to give the same name to that folder. In this scenario, my slug name is simple text speech to text. So I am going to create a folder under documents with the name of the slug. I am going to create one folder. Okay, next I have to check out from my repository. So the repository URL given by WordPress, I just copy that and going to SVN checkout. Um, Yes, my URL repository is that given URL repository. Then checkout directory is my folder, and I am going to. I did not change apart from anything. I just going to click OK. Yes, now the repository is copying from WordPress server to my ser uh, local server. That means local folder. Okay. Actually, I have created uh, created a plugin and up uploaded on the WordPress repository. So I have the files in my trunk folder uh, but if you are creating a new plugin and this is the first time you are going to release the version on the SVN repository 
uh, you could not see any four files under this trunk so you, you need to copy need to copy your readme file and your functionality file that means your php file under the trunk folder and your header icons files and screenshot files should be under in asset folders uh, so once you copied and paste it uh, right click the folder and give it to SVN commit uh, once click on that one it will ask a commit to message type it like that um, read me text update whatever it may be what you have done the changes and click ok that's all your new wordpress plugin directory will be uploaded to svn directory of wordpress that's it thanks for watching this video thank you